वेरी वॉम वेलकम टू डब्ल्यू एस क्यूब टेक सो गाइज इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव कवर्ड वॉट आर हिस्टोग्राम ब्लॉच इन आर टूडे सेशन वील बी टॉकिंग अबाउट पाई चार्ट सो गाइज पाई चार्ज वॉट आर पाई चार्ट सो पाई चार्ज आर दो सर्कुलर काइंड ऑफ ग्राफ्स विच आर वेरी ईजी टू लर्न विच आर वेरी ईजी टू अंडरस्टैंड बेसिकली सो इन आर दिस सेशन वील बी टॉकिंग कम्प्लीटली अबाउट द पाई चार्ट लेट्स हैव लुक ऑन हाउ पाई चार्ट लुक लाइक सो इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन हाउ अ पाई चार्ट लुक्स लाइक दिस इज हाउ अ पाई चार्ट लुक्स लाइक सो वी हैव वैल्यूज इन दिस वीट नॉट द स्मॉल स्लाइज ऑफ पिज्जा ओवर हियर इंडिकेट्स रेड द लिटल बिगर इंडिकेट्स ग्रीन आर मोर बिगर इंडिकेट्स द येलो वन एंड द लार्जर वन विच इज फॉर मी इंडिकेट्स द ब्लू वन ओके so here we can put the values and which can uh, you know tell us that which uh, section is more and which section is less in quantity or, or according to data what is more and what is less over here so let's understand how to plot a pie chart over here to plot a pie chart first of all let's import matplotlib dot pie plot as plt after this let's import numpy as np and i don't know why these quotations are here so let's remove them and once we have imported both of them let's uh, plot the values of x and y so let's say x is equals to i'll take some values over here so you can create an array over here or you can directly take values in the format of a list for example you can take a popularity of something so for that we need something right so let's first take y over here so y is equals to and i'll be taking some values like we have uh, nokia then secondly we'll have one plus then say we have next one as samsung and lastly we have apple okay so once we have got these values now let's plot the values for x here so x is equals to and we can give a list here inside this we can give the popularity like let's say nokia right now is not much popular so i'll give it 20 one plus is very much popular so we'll keep it 40 so the ratio should be of 100 so let's keep this as 35 here similarly if i keep the samsung the, uh, the nokia should be actually 10 here the samsung should be 20 and again this should be let's say 35 here okay now what do i need to plot i need to plot a pie chart here for pie chart we'll be writing plt dot pi and i'll be passing x here let's run and see so as soon as i run it i'll get a value which looks like this basically let's write plt dot show as well so plt dot show open close the parentheses and this is how it looks like this is a simple pie chart but right now all i can see it, it, it it's circle and there are some colors over here i cannot understand what is what over here right so how to define all these things to define all these things we will be writing the labels over here so what we can write labels is equals to y and we can we can now understand the okay, okay this one stands for nokia this one stands for oneplus this one stands for samsung and this one stands for apple here right Similarly, if you want to define colors here, we can create colors. So we can write colors is equals to, and we can pass a list here of pink and hot pink. Then we have magenta, and lastly we have red. Okay, and let's pass these colors over here as well. So I'll be writing colors is equals to colors. And now you can see we have four different colors over here. We have Nokia, OnePlus, Samsung in magenta, and Apple in red color. Okay. Similarly, if you want, you can use the explode symbol over here. So let's move to the different uh, graph over here, and let's keep this this way only. And we can uh, explode it. Explode now. What is exploding over here? So you know that like uh, we have pizza, and we just take a slice over here. Like when we click a photo of a pizza, how do we click it? Like the whole pizza is there, and we try to pull out one slice, and then we take a whole picture of it so that you know you can see the. cheese dripping over there similarly if i want to explode this as well like i want to uh, pull one slice over here in that case what i can do over here is very simple i can write a variable called as explode exp is equal to now how you how much you want to explode each of them let's say i just want to explode one of them by 0.3 rest of them i want to keep as 0, 0,0,0 and here i can pass explode is equals to exp now let's run it and you can see the nokia has been exploded like this like it's coming out like a, a slice of uh, you know pizza okay and if you want to show the shadow here so you can write shadow is equals to true to give it a little you know realistic effect so shadow over here takes a um, boolean value and we can write shadow is equals to true now you can see a uh, shadow has been created all this from on all the sides over here while at the same time if you want to show that uh, how many percentage of uh, it is coming over here like if you want to show the percentage over here in that case what you can do we have a variable called as auto pack auto pack auto pack is equals to we can write in the double quotations uh, percentage that is modulus sign 1.1 One, uh, one over here. Uh, after point one over here indicates the decimal place that we uh, by one zero we want the decimal place and modulus modulus. 
and if i run it now you can see we have uh, values over here with one decimal places if i would have written zero instead like i don't want any decimal places then directly the values would have come like this but people generally preferred uh, decimal values over here because you know we have bulk in data and that time the data we, we are not sure if we are get, going to get the data in integers or in floating points so they prefer that we uh, we at least give up to two decimal places or one decimal places over here okay so you can go with the auto packed as well similarly there is one more thing uh, one more function that is called as start angle let's understand what is start angle so I'll just uh, take this data from here to here and let me just explain this that if I'll write plt dot and we are going to create a pie plot so I'll be writing x and as soon as we run it we get something like this and we can write plt dot show open close the parenthesis view now what is start angle over here right now you can see we have a start the starting angle is starting from somewhere this side right this is what this is our zero angle so this is zero the top angle would be 90 the right angle the whole complete angle like half half of it will be 180 and the bottom one would be 270 and the complete round would be 360 so 360 we won't be considering over here so uh, default over here is zero that it starts from zero okay it's like this so it goes from zero then it goes to 90 degree then it uh, then when it covers the complete one semicircle it goes to 180 it completes more than a semicircle then it, it's it's called uh, 270 degrees and after that once it completes the whole of it then it is called as uh, zero degree again so we won't call it 360 but we will be calling it as zero degree so if you want to change its start angle in that case what you can write you can write start angle is equals to let's say i want to start it on 90 degree so as soon as i run it now you can see the orientation has been changed previously it was coming from here now it is starting from here like from the top so from here it's starting similarly if i put 180 it will start from the left hand side that means from here like from the completely semi circle and now you can see it's starting from this side and similarly from bottom if you want to start it from bottom in that case you can just use 270 here so we'll be writing 270 and as soon as we run it now you can see it's starting from 270 over here and basically people keep it uh, zero so that uh, the basic idea over here is that it starts from zero the default is also zero and we can keep it zero or if you want you can keep it any angle that you want but this is one of the functions similarly you can define the legend over here so you can also write plt dot legend and let's put the legend uh, not in this one but on in the previous one so we can write legend over here by writing plt dot legend and we can define the location that location is equals to one so you can see we have a location over here that uh, light pink over here shows nokia the darker one shows oneplus the magenta shows samsung and the red color over here shows the apple so this is how we can define the legend legend can uh, the location can be changed as we have learned in our uh, session with the legends that how we can control the legends at and what placements we can keep of them so we have already covered this session before so i hope guys that pie charts over here are clear to you like how we can play with the pie charts like how we can create the pie charts how we can explode it we can add colors to it how we can show the shadows the auto pack over here is used to show the labels while at the same time you can give different colors to it and if you can define the start angle over here you can define the legends uh, give the locations you can define uh, the other things as well you can you can give the title to it so all these things could be the basic functions basically that we have already covered has been clear I guess. So I hope you guys have no doubts and no question in our pie charts. In our next session we are going with box plots. So stay connected guys and I'll see you in the next session. Thank you.